to new video. So today I'm going to be filming a massive collective haul. Like, oh my word, the amount of stuff I've been buying over the past couple of weeks and like even, no, I wouldn't, maybe a couple of months, last month. Between the last couple of weeks and the last month, um, the amount of stuff that I've bought is actually in flipping scene. Like, I've spent so much money, my bank account has been drained. So, yeah. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna start off with the items that aren't actually clothing items. They are more like makeup and jewelry and stuff like that. So, here we go. It, like, as soon as this haul starts, the amount of editing I'm gonna have to do this video is insane. It's probably gonna take me hours upon hours. But, I have to give you what you want. Maybe you just don't want this, but you wouldn't click on the video if you didn't want it, so, raging. Okay, so the very first item of this very long haul are these earrings. Um, so these are from New Look and they were $12.99. They are so super cute. There's like three pairs of tassels and then a pile of studs. They were $12.99 when they were bought. But my mum is actually the person who bought them and she literally never wore any of these. And she was planning on selling them and I was like, no, no, I'll take them. So they're now mine. So that's the first item, not really a big deal, they're just earrings. Okay, so the next couple items are going to be makeup, so then we will get into all the clothing items. Hallelujah. We'll be there for a while, trust me. But anyway, the first two things I got um, are two things I actually need it, so that's why I bought them. Um, so it is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I got one shade in C1 and one shade in C2. I'd wear C2 when I have tan on and C1 is what I'm wearing actually right now. Um, I'd wear it like whenever I'm doing my makeup and um, I'm not wearing foundation right now like I never really wear foundation when I'm pale and I'm not wearing tan but the concealer does just the job so yeah these were four pound each and they were from Superdrug the next item is from NYX it is the tinted brow mascara and the shade brunette so I can't remember what the last one I had was called but I used to have um this but I took it with me in a makeup bag to Cara and Brianne's house and it literally snapped in half and safe to say I was not happy. It must have been because all the makeup must have been on top of it. So I got a new one, I got it in a lighter shade. So yeah, I've got it on my eyebrows right now. Obviously I've filled in my eyebrows as well, but I put this on top of it and it makes such a difference to your eyebrows. It's unreal. So yeah, that's it. Can't really see because the light, but yeah. Okay, so the final thing in like the makeup category is I got um, this little contour palette. It's powder contour, not um, cream contour because I don't really use cream contour. Like, I don't know, it just freaks me out a wee bit because I'm scared in case it ends up like just leaving like brown chunks on my face. So, if you know how to do it, of course, you're gonna like love it on your face or anyone else's face. But I am not a pro at it yet. I haven't tried it on um, like really. I used to do it at Cara's house because she had like the really dark foundation sticks, and then we just use them. But normally Cara is the one who does my makeup, so yeah. Um, but anyway, so this is it. Um, it was £6 and it was from Superdrug online because we can't get Elf in Balmina. Well, not that I know of. You can get it in Belfast, I know that. Anyway, so yes, this is it. Um, it was a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, but I suppose that's why it's probably £6. And this is it. So you get like a middle shade, a dark shade, like a yellowy tone, and then just a clear trans lucent powder i haven't used them top two and i haven't really used the darkest one but i was using that today and also my little bronzer so yeah that's great so that was six pounds from Superdrug online okay so basically where all of these clothes have kind of as you can see they're all like just sitting in my bed in the back and um, where most of these clothes have came from is like when i went to the ladies walk-in at like the start of october like the second of october or something and then obviously I had my whole situation where I went into hospital so I never got to wear any of my clothes and I literally forgot that I had bought clothes which is insane so yes most of the stuff is from New Look and then we've got cup, like one item from River Island we've got Topshop and we've got Primark okay so the first clothing item I'm going to show you is you're going to look at it and be like Nicola what the actual hell like, I have two other colours in this and I wore one of them out I have a, like a dark green and a baby blue I wore the baby blue out with nothing under it and then I wear like the green one with like a white top under it so that's what I do with this one as well 
and I haven't been out in a very long while so that would partly explain it as well. Um, so yeah this is it so don't freak out it's basically a bodysuit and it's like a lacy material and it's like see-through. This is size 10 from New Look and it literally looks tiny but it, a good thing of it is, is it stretches so even if you are freaking out like it is a stretchy material I think I don't know. Um, but yeah that's the first item. Can't remember how much it was new look. So that last item I got literally randomly when I was in town one day but um, this next item I got on the ladies lock in so there was a like 25% off I think on it so yeah I got these leather leggings type things, they're, yeah they are, they're leather leggings, I don't know why I said type thing because it literally is a leather pair of leggings and um, so this is them, I think I've wore these like once or twice, I don't know but yeah, you can either dress these up uh, and wear them with like heels and like a nice top or else you can wear them like a jumper and like a pair of shoes, a pair of trainers or boots or something. So yeah, I actually really do like these. They're, it's literally messing up my lighting so much. Um, these are size 10 and they were, I have the tag here because I took it off when I was wearing them but I, I kept the tag for you to get you the price. These were 15 99 and once again size 10, I think I said that already. But yeah, they're really stretchy materials, so they've, they'll sort you out rightly. Okay, so I'm just going to go through everything from New Look first, because it's keeping all the New Look stuff together. I'll keep all the Topshop stuff, River Island stuff, and Primark stuff together. So, the next item I got in the ladies' walk-in as well, I think it was on sale. Once again, I'm very sorry I took the tag off and didn't keep it, because I didn't think that I was going to be filming a haul, because I got this on the 2nd of October. But yeah, it's just this plain, like pinky colour, pinky nitty colour, you can't really, like the colour doesn't show up really on camera but um, yeah this is size 6 and yeah it's like a crop top but it's like not too cropped, like it sits perfectly, like you can't even see this one but it like sits like perfectly to cover your stomach so that is very good. Okay so the next item um, I got inspiration from, from my sister's boyfriend Daniel, um, I don't know if you are watching but hi if you are. Um, basically we were all in town one day with my mum and Daniel went and done his own shopping thing and came back with this unreal hoodie in, from the men's section from New Look and I was like I want that and I think it was on sale and he said there's one more left because I was like oh my goodness that's so nice and then I think he said that there was one more left upstairs so we were already in New Look so of course me being the gal I am I literally sprint it upstairs like I love boys hoodies or men's hoodies sorry they're like I don't know why but they're like a lot comfier than girls hoodies because they're obviously a lot bigger like more lounge wear so yeah I like men's hoodies I, but the only thing is they're quite oversized on me so I wouldn't really like it because I like my hoodies being quite thin not the point whatsoever but anyway I'm going to show you it <laughs> I'm um, very sorry, don't know the price, I think it was 20, 20 99 but £20.99 p obviously. But this is it, it's like a really pale hoodie, as you can see it's quite big and this is in size small I want to say. Yes, yeah, size small from New Look and yeah, it's just a plain men's hoodie. It doesn't, like the colour doesn't show up on camera, like I don't know why it's not showing up very well. I literally don't know how to explain it but yeah, that's really it. Okay, so the second last item from New Look is this jumper. This is going to mess up my flipping lighting again. But um, this is size 8 and you can barely tell what it looks like. So yeah, this is it. Like, as you can see, like, it's got hair on it from the dog. Fantastic. It's just a plain black jumper. Super comfy, size 8. And I don't know the price, so I apologise. Oops. Okay, so the last item from New Look is another jumper. It is the blue version of the black one. I do prefer this and it seems like it's a lot thinner than that black one. But the price of this one is £15.99 so I'm guessing that one's around the same price because they're literally the same jumper, I think. Um, but yeah, um, size 10, I think we got this in the Lee's lock-in. Think being the keyword. Um, but that's really it. It's the exact same as the black one but in blue. 15.99 size 10. Okay, so I was very wrong. Um, I forgot about the other stuff that I had hanging in the drawer from New Look. Um, these were all bought at the ladies' walk-in, just know that. So there is a 25% off discount that we got on this stuff. Um, so the first thing I wore to the 
Brave Heart Strictly event. If you have seen my recent Instagram post, I wore this skirt. Um, I thought it was so cool. I've always wanted one of these skirts and this one just stood out to me because obviously the colour of it. So this is it. It looks so long and it is quite long. But um, yeah, that's it. I have no clue what the price is because I took the tag off. But it's size 8 and I just think it's so cool. Like it's unreal. I wore it with a white top which you will see soon. But um, yeah, that's really it. Got that in the ladies lock in so it was 25% off. Don't ask me what it was. Like the price wise, 25% off whatever it was. Okay, so the second last item is this jacket. Um, I really hope this doesn't mess up my light and I've tried to fix it a wee bit so that it doesn't. But I basically got myself, didn't get myself, sorry, my mum and dad bought me this leather jacket um, from the ladies login. Once again, got 25% off it. Um, it is size 10. And yeah, you can't really see it that well, but it is very, very cool. Okay, so the actual last item, I'm sorry that it's so dark, but the reason it's so dark is because this jacket will mess up the lighting again. So I basically got myself a cropped denim jacket from New Look. And um, this is size 10, what a shocker. And um, yeah, so if you may or may not know, you probably don't. Um, back in like April time, I bought myself... Um, a denim jacket from Primark, it's just a plain denim jacket, it fit it really well and I think it was thir 15 pound, thir it was between 15 and 30, I know that's literally double the price range but I can't remember what price it was and it literally vanished, like I checked Josh's car, Cara's, car and Brian's house, my house and it literally vanished and I swear to god I was so upset about it. So. When we're at the ladies login, I spotted this bad boy and decided to pick it up, snatch it, and I did. Can't remember the price, but it was 25% off whatever it was. Okay, the next thing is from River Island. It's the only item that I have from River Island. My mum got me this to wear with the skirt I showed you for the Bravehearts um, like charity event I went to. So, I obviously wore tan and my mum tried to get the tan out at the top. Did it come out? No, it turned bright pink. So, this is what the top looks like, okay, when it's on, looking cute. As soon as you lift your arms, that's all you're going to see. So, just remind me to either wear a jacket at all times or literally not lift my arms. So this is size 10, River Island. It's really cute. It's got the lace on it. It was £16. Once again, kept the tag just in case. And I wouldn't have remembered the price of it anyway. So yeah, it's like a wee flowy top. Um, I would have got it in size 8. But mum was like, no, I'll get it in size 10 so you can have it like a bit more flowy. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Um, £16 River Island, size 10. Yo. Okay, don't hate me, but there's one more item from the look that I've just found in my Topshop pile. Um, we got this in, I want to say, the Abbey Centre, I think. But it might have been in Balmina when it was the ladies lock in. Can I remember? No. Do I know the price? No. So this is it. It's basically just got three daisies on it. Like my wee daisy. My wee puppy. Um, but yeah, it's just this like top. Um, I just like tug it into like trousers or like a skirt or something like that. It looks really off centre for some reason. There we go. And this is size 10 once again. But yeah, that's really it. Size 10, new look. Wee daisy top and it's cute. Honestly, I feel like I should be doing a brand deal with New Look at this point. Like, the amount of stuff I've bought is insane. Anyway, continuing on. Okay, now on to the second last shop, and then it'll be the last shop, and then we'll be done with the haul. Thank holy god, it's been, it's been a couple of hours. Because the amount of mistakes I've made, and god, it's going to be so fun editing this. But anyway, so, in Topshop you get, like, dailies and stuff, if you didn't know. You get deals and all that where basically you can get like three for a tenner, three for fifteen. No. Um do I know the price? No, but I got a three for something deal. Just don't know what the something is. I'm really sorry. But yeah, I got three t-shirts for for a certain amount of money, I can't remember. <laughs> sorry. It was quite a while ago that these were bought. So yeah. The first one is literally just a black plain t-shirt. Nothing special about it. Um that's literally as simple as it gets. The second is a red t-shirt. Um, literally, once again, just a plain t-shirt. Once again, from Topshop, it's as simple as it gets. And finally, from Topshop, oh, I bet you can't even guess what it is. Another t-shirt. Um, it's 
once again this colour that I can't explain. It looks a lot darker on, in person than it does on camera. But I think that might just be because of my ring light. But um, yeah, it's like this like nitty colour, nitty brownie colour. You can't literally see it all. The colour won't pick up on camera. I'm very sorry about that. Once again, three simple teas for three, four something. Don't know what it is, sorry. Next shop. <laughs> okay, on to Primark. We're almost there, people, okay? Yusuf, if you have came this far, good on yous. Okay, so, I never really buy skirts because obviously the weather in Balmina or in the North of Ireland isn't very good, safe to say. So, yeah. but with this skirt, I can wear it with tights or I could not, but I'll wear it with tights because it's like more of like a wintery skirt, I feel. Like, it looks like something that you would wear in the wintertime. You wouldn't really wear this in the summertime. But, I mean, if you get it and you wear it in the summertime, go you. Okay, so this is the skirt. Um, it looks massive on camera, but um, it's unzipped. That's probably what... Probably not, but... Um, yeah, so this is the skirt. It's so cute. I think it is just adorable. I believe I got this in the Abbey Centre. Not 100% sure. No, I didn't. I got this in the Balamina shop and it is size 10 and it was £8 which is so good um, for this little cute skirt but yeah my Chinese is here okay so hello hi I'm back it's like an hour later um, I was downstairs eating a Chinese so I'm going to show you the rest of the items the rest of most of the items are from Primark and the last item is a surprise item so okay so the next thing from Primark is this like it's so cute this dress Um, so I imagine this wearing like with like a nice jumper or like yeah with a nice jumper like a top under it and then like tights and like a pair of boots or like a pair of trainers so I'm just gonna show you it now <laughs> so this is it it's just like this like pinaform 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 dress i haven't said that word since i was literally in primary school so yeah it zips up and down at the front which don't really know why i'd need that you just slip into it this is size eight and it was 10 pounds from primark i hate these things i need to cut them off as soon as i start wearing this but yeah it zips the whole way down though so if literally someone grabbed this and pulled it down you're screwed but anyway so yeah size eight primark 10 pound what a bargain okay so the next item from Primark is something that i would never usually buy or wear i have never had one of these before um, and i imagine wearing this with the skirt i have actually wore it with the skirt and i'd imagine it under that like dress type of thing so it's a jumper now i know what you're thinking like nicola you've obviously had jumpers before but it's a jumper with a turtleneck neck turtleneck on it which i am not used to at all so like the past couple of times i have wore this it like freaks me out a wee bit so yeah, just roll it down and then obviously it's just like really cute. This was £6 from Primark, size small, which is 10 slash 12. But it literally is, you wouldn't think that, but also it's really stretchy. Like, look at that. I'm going to end up stretching it, so I'm going to stop that. But um, yeah, it's super cute on. But the thing is, it freaks me out in the neck a wee bit. Like I like things being like quite low neck. Not that low, but like, you know what I mean? Like this, instead of being like up here. So that's that okay so the next item is another jumper i got this on the same day i got that that one um also six pound size 10 slash 12 it's literally just the gray version apart from it is a low neck which i'm far happier with i haven't actually wore the shit in case you couldn't tell because we hardly go out with that on it but yeah um it's super cute um, I love like this time of year because Primark's clothes are so good like they literally have a massive stall with like every colour of jumper you could think of apart from like yellow and stuff like apart from summer colours but like they have like, really cute jumpers I haven't worn this yet as I just said but yeah six pounds size small from Primark okay so this is obviously the last clothing item and then it goes on to like the big item which is like oh my word so the last item is just this like grey like jumper type thing it's like an oversized jumper i really would have preferred it if it was like a bit tighter and um, i think it's size 10 yeah 10 slash 12 so i could have got an extra small on this because it's literally just too big but i just wear it as like oversized like to throw on my leggings or even to like just wear around the house so it's quite easy very sorry but i don't know the price of it it's probably around like six to ten pounds that's normally what these kind of jumpers are 
baller rides. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, that's it. Size small from Primark. Okay, the last thing in this haul, the biggest thing of this haul and any haul that I've ever done. Yes, you're correct, ever. So, I'm on a contract with my phone, which obviously you've probably predicted what I'm about to show you. I'm on a contract with my phone, meaning that every two years I get a new phone and then I pay it monthly. Me and my mum have split my bill. I used to never pay, pay my bill, my mum always did, but now we're splitting the bill. <sighs> don't think I'm really prepared to show you this, and I don't think you're really prepared for it. So, the last thing from this haul is a phone. The iPhone XS Plus. That's a lot, lot of words. So basically, um, yeah, this is it. I'm just actually going to bring up the phone instead because look how beautiful that is. Okay, just, it's, wait, I'm just going to get rid of my notifications. Um, and then the front photo is my dog and there's the ring light. <laughs> so the front photo is my dog. She's so cute. Anyway, doesn't matter. So I got it in gold, but it really doesn't look gold in this. It looks more like a pale whitey colour. Um, but yeah, this is the phone iPhone XS Plus. The story behind this was actually that my mum surprised me with this phone. Like, because I wasn't going to Portugal and everything, mum decided to come in one night. I was literally sitting in the living room and mum had just gone to get her hair done. And then she came into the house and she handed me her handbag and goes, look through that. I was looking through her handbag, couldn't find anything. Then she had another bag behind her back and it was like this blue O2 bag. And... I opened it and I literally, oh my god, this is going to sound pure cringe, but I started crying my flipping eyes out because I wasn't expecting it. My old phone is literally Banjax. I think it's in here. Yes, it is. I'll show you. Oops. So this is my old phone. As you can see, there's literal chunks taken out of this phone. Like, it wasn't working properly. This is the iPhone 6S Plus. So I'm going to keep this in case anything happens to that phone. Touch wood that it doesn't. There's no wood there. Touch wood that it doesn't. But um, yeah, so, so grateful for this phone. Absolutely love it. And it's so strange having Face ID and literally being able to like be like, okay, so it's just not worked. Okay. Um, but yes, I'm entirely grateful. So thank you, um, mother. Um, I'm very grateful. You're paying half of my contract, so I'm very grateful for you. And yeah, that's really it. That's everything in the haul. Thank the Lord. <laughs> We got there eventually. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you'd like to see um, any other videos, let me know down in the comments below. And um, remember to follow my social medias at the start of the video, and my Instagram is linked down below. And yeah, that's really it. Um, I'm good. It's good to be back and filming hauls again, and receiving clothes and other things. So other than that, I think that's the end of the video. We got there eventually, like I said before. I love you all. Have a great night whenever you're watching this. I love you. Mwah! Peace out. I was. I am. Mm -hmm. Why? Why not? Thanks. Pay nothing. Why? Thanks so much. A horrible heart. You're too kind. <laughs>